Graham Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. We're going to sleep. Andrew McCart, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. We're here in Cardiff, uh, the Vale Sports Arena. With me, I've got Martin Murray. Martin, you're here to support your new gym mate, Sean McGoldrick. Before we touch about your upcoming fight in July, just talk to you a little bit, Sean, and how he's looking in the gym. Yeah, obviously, uh, Sean's been with us a, a few months now. I've not been in the gym that much this year. So, um, obviously, when I've nipped, which hasn't been... You know, I started back the gym last week, but when I've nipped over you know, maybe four or five times over the past few months, I've seen him. But he's, he's fitted in well, he's doing really well. Obviously, Jamie's over in uh, New York with Tommy, and now he's doing Sean's turn, he has to come down and help him. So, obviously, just, uh, just come down and help him, and hopefully, uh, he'll get a good win today and then move on. Okay, Sean, is that though? In August last year, you lost a, a, a. Would you say controversial fight against Dandam? Because you thought you had won. Yeah. yeah, listen, it, it was no fucking, it was no massively convincing win from me. Mm -hmm. No, I had, I had an off night, but I still thought I won the fight by a round or two. You know, um, you know, I've got a, a French judge who's fucking judging it, give it in by fucking six rounds. What chance have I got, mate? I've got no fucking chance, but the, um, yeah, I mean, he had an off night, but I still thought I won the fight by a round or two. Um, but yeah. And as it's shown in the past, no, no look, but it is what it is. It you know is, what I mean? Is, well, yeah. There has been before we touched on something else. There has been a little bit of luck for you, but in the, your post-fight interview after that fight with Coogan, you said, "I'm done." That's me. I'm so done. I was done. done. Honestly, done. I was done. I was that mentally drained. It topped off an absolute shit year for me last year. Um, a lot of time in camp. A lot of time out uh, away from my family. Billy Joe Saunders fights. So yeah. Been, uh, yeah. I mean, they, they are what they are at the end of the day, but. Um, but yeah, you know, a lot of time away from my family. Um, just, you know, I've said it before, you know, you only get out what they put in you, say, but it's full of shit. I grafted my ass off last year and got shit on fucking one, two, three times. Do you know what I mean? So it was just, it was just one of them things. I was just completely done with it. Com you know, I, me, I was just completely flat with it. Physically, I know I'm not dumb, but mentally I was just drained and I just thought I'm fucking dumb. Do you know what, I, like, I sacrificed, I mean, he ended up catching up with them, but the fall's on 22nd, I was meant to go away on 20th with my family. I remember that, yeah. So were... I had to fly over the day after the fight, 23rd, catch up with my family, I only seen them on Christmas Day in, China, in, in Vietnam. Vietnam, they flew yeah. to China. Mm -hmm. But then I got there, caught a water infection, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, I was in medical room on, on cruise, I, I, it was just a, sh it was just a shit time, <laughs> do you know what I mean? And I just thought... Even before I went, you know, I, I did the interview after the fight and I thought, um, you know what, I'm done. But then the day after, I had a think and I thought, well, I'm not going to officially yeah. say that well, I'm, that I'm retired. That was my next question. I was going to say, like, how long, with that interview with Coogan, did you decide, nah, I'm not done? Was it like a progressive thing or when you came back from your holiday or what? No, well, I, I, I come back from holiday, I had, a, had a few weeks out, started training, didn't go back to the gym, but just kept trained at home. Um, started doing some PTs. And it was after a, after a while, it's not that I, uh, I, I learned to miss it, I just thought, I don't know if doing the PTs helped me, because I, I stayed away from the gym, it was the first time since 2008 where I had not started a year and completely hammered myself, trained flat out. You know, I'd done it, I turned pro, I had my first, first fight at the end of 2007, from 2008 and every year since then, up until this year. I've just completely smashed my body, got in gym, gone all out, when's my fight, when, when's it coming, who, who am I fighting, I need this, I want this, you know what I mean? And it was the first time in, in, in 11 years where I started the year, not put myself under any stress, any expectation, and it did, it did, it did me good, I had a bit of downtime, you know, I wasn't, it wasn't like in between fights where you're flat out training, mm -hmm. and you know, you're not going out, you're in with family, and then you fight, so when you fight then, you've got so many weeks, so many months to cram everything in, so you're out every weekend, you know, everything was a bit more middle ground is what I'm trying to say, instead of being up here or being down there. And it just gave me, gave me a bit of time for to evaluate things and, 
you know, I, I looked going back to the end damn fight. Um, it, it was what it was. Same with the world title fights and other fights that I've been in. Um, from from a, a, a look point of view, and I just thought, you know what, I'm not done physically. I've put a, myself under a lot of stress, a lot of expectations. I've, I've had an unhealthy obsession with chasing a world title, and I just thought, you know what, that's gone for me there now. Like I said, I know I'm not physically done. Um, I'm in the position now where if a fight comes again, great. If it doesn't, great. You know what I mean. So I'm just going to try and just try and enjoy it yeah. a little bit. You know, so this next fight I'm fighting on 12th of, 12th of July. This next fight I'm I'm, I'm taking my family, me, you know, all my kids are coming. They've never been. I fought in Johannesburg in 2014 in an hotel in there, and family come over a bit of an holiday, so that they went there. But it wasn't a proper proper fight. They've never been one over here. I would actually been a few times, but I'm just taking on my family and just gonna just gonna try and enjoy it. Just get what I can out of it. Why I can, do you know what I mean? Is the world title still a dream? Or is that something you're just gonna? You know what? I'm just gonna take each fight as it comes. Yeah, if, if that's what I'm gonna comes, do. Comes, that's yeah. what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take each fight as it comes. Um, of course, it's a dream. Who mm. doesn't want to be world champion? I still want to be world champion. I'm just an indie well, there, well, there you go. <laughs> but it's I've 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 lost the obsession with it now, yeah. which is which has been great for me. You know, like I said, with with that what happened, um, it made me really evaluate things and just think, you know what? Don't get much luck. You know. I say that, but in in on the flip side of that, I've had a lot of luck from where I was when it were, you know 2006 when mm -hmm. my last last uh, last time I was in jail. I've had a lot lot of luck for be where where I am now. You know, I was I was addicted to passing. I was I, I, I was I was. I seen your uh, your put the podcast you done with. The Brandon with, and Joe yeah, one. yeah, that yeah. Was yeah, he was, <laughs> that was You know, I, I some I, of the stories, man. Oh, there's and there's lot there's loads more, but um, I look back from from when I was back then to now. So I have had a lot of luck. Mm. I mean, it's come with hard work, but from getting decisions in fights, luck wise, I've I've not really had it. But um, like I said, it was great for me being able to evaluate things and. I've lost the, the obsession, like I said, with chasing a world title now. So if it comes great, if it doesn't great, I'm, I'm just going to, like I said, try and enjoy it. Well, you talked about 2018 being a, a shit year for you. Uh, obviously, with fights falling through and whatnot, and at the end damn fight at the end of the year there. But you did have some good news or good luck. At the big, was that a few months, last month or something like that, with your visa for the States? Yeah, well, yeah. So there's opportunity. Typical in it. Well, it is. I don't know if that boat sail now, but I've had, honestly, the fights I've had in America, I've had. Have Peter Quillen yep. for WBO on the card of Chief Support Mayweather Alvarez. Couldn't get it. I've had I sent Golden Boy me me um, the criminal record because they asked for it, yeah. and they went, you'll never get it, never no. get his visa. Um, you know, I've had Chavez a couple of times, and that's always been a close close um, closed door for me. The, the fights in America, but I applied for it last year. Uh, I went on another interview again the other uh, the other week, and you know I, I've got it now, so I've got a five-year one. So maybe, maybe that you know that window could still slightly be open for, for, for a fight point of view. But with ESPN now, there's big shows, Carl's fighting out there. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it'd be, it'd be great. It's always been a it's always been a dream of mine for fights in America. But like I said, I just complete a thought. You know, I'm never going to get my visa. But I've worked hard. You know. In, in turning my life around and you know I, 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 do, I, I do a lot of stuff you know with, with, with charities you know helping young kids um, you know I'm a qualified youth worker qualified mentor I, I do you know what I can when I can mm. and you know I've got a lot of um, people in St. Helens who uh, really nice people who's given me good references and I sent and, and they help me with getting, with getting my visa um, but I mean the, the the last the last time I was in trouble was I think 2007 so it's been 12 years yeah, it's been like 12 years but it's took me this this amount of time but I'm just just happy that I've got it like I said even listen even if fights aren't there you know I can still go and support the lads I can See, that's, that's, that's good though, of course it is yeah, yeah I can still go and support the lads I can still go on over there on a f uh, family uh, holiday with family so so yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Just reference fighting in the states. Does it have to be the right opponent for you to go over there, or are you like, it's a dream of mine? So just give me anyone, and I'll go over there. Does it it's matter? always been the same. Mm -hmm. You know, if if there was a fight in North Pole, I'd, I'd, I'd take <laughs> it. It's just, 
you know, when I started out, as a, like kind of the goose jacket, yeah. <laughs> it was always it was always a thing for me when I was starting out because I'd had my past what I'd had. Mm. It was always a thing for me where I wanted to get to the end of my career and say that I've I've had no regrets. I, I didn't shy away from fighting anybody. I took every fight that was there. Um, so it's always been the same same for me. Um, fight anyone anywhere in the world. I mean, the opportunity to fight in America would be great. I mean, if it was someone of, of you know a good for the world title or someone like really of a good quality big name it'd be even better but um, like I said I'm, I'm I'm not hoping for anything or expecting anything you know I've got this fight on July 12th um, see how I feel after that if I feel like fighting again I will if I don't I won't you know what I mean well, let's talk about July 12th and it's, a, it's looking to be a good card out in oh Bamberg it's a belter yeah so yeah. we've got Rocky Fielding you yeah. there's uh, Jazz Dickens fighting yeah, Daniel May right. so it's, yeah. uh, I think uh, Tony Bell you said that Chris Glover's fighting on it as well is that right Craig Glover is it uh, yeah, Craig, Craig Lovers on it. Um, Teddy Flanagan's on. Teddy Flanagan's on it as well. Yeah, um, the there's, there's loads, isn't there? Yeah, there's so loads. It's a good card. So what kind so of opponent are you hoping for for July 12th? Uh, I've just been. Um, I've just been speaking. Just been speaking to some from from uh, Paul from MTK, yeah. and it's given an anxious this week, so I don't know whether I can say something. Nah, but probably, probably not. Yeah, yeah, it. but it's <laughs> uh, it, it's a de- decent opponent. It's got a good fight to come back to. It's not somebody you can just go and get rid of in a couple of rounds it's a good it's, it's a good decent fight um, to come back to yeah. and but like, like I said, said it would be what seven months since you had last fought yeah, December, yeah so it's quite, yeah. A, quite, a, it's quite, quite, quite a long time but you know we'll look at last year you know I thought 2017 I had four weeks then they asked me to be a um, substitute or whatever you call yeah, them yeah. For, for that super eight mm-hmm. In oh, the super middle yeah, 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 yeah. But they asked me to be a standing or whatever it is, reserve. Yeah, reserve get the word, that's then. The word Not punch drunk, <laughs> They asked me to be a reserve for that, and they had four weeks, and I fought, so I fought 2 17, September, and then I didn't fight then, so yeah. I, I thought to get a. I was meant to be fighting in April, which would have been, what, six, seven months, but then I, I ended up fighting June, so I look at it like I trained all year last year, and he only had two fights, and from 2 17 to September 2017 to, to June to, there was like nine months there so it's it's not really that much of a gap you know what I mean yeah. but it's um, it, it it's just one of it's just one of them with me now like if I'm, it, it's weird uh, it's not like I've had a, a massive massive gap mm. um, rest from it but I've had a, a good mental break and it's done done me world of good and I'm, I'm really looking forward to fighting I went in gym first time last week for the first time I've been in a few months and it was the first time in years where I'd started back a, a camp and started back in the gym and really loved being in there you, you know love it. there's some characters in that gym so oh there is yeah 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 but I was, I was in for like half an hour before on mm-hmm. my own the gym was empty and I was just in there on my own just hit it back mm-hmm. and I loved it and I've not felt that buzz for a long time so yeah and I'm uh, I'm buzzing and excited about, about what's to come. Well, this might be a redundant question because this is probably going to go after Tommy's fight tonight. Yeah. But uh, you're, you're going to get your prediction right or you're going to be wrong, but I'll still post this video. So yeah, of course, yeah. Well, listen, what's your thoughts on Tommy well, and well, Chris Algeri? What do you think I'm going to well, say? Well, you're going to say Tommy's going to well, win. Well, without a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> it's, an, it's an hard fight for yeah. him. Tough. He's big, that Algeri. He, he, he's got his world class. Tommy's the underdog. I don't know by how much. You know, I'm not the biggest boxing fan, so I've. I've not seen him fight that much, but I believe in Tommy. Mm-hmm. Tommy's, you know, he's so mentally strong. He's got an art the size of a lion, and he can box as well. And if he goes in there and, and, and sticks to a game plan, he can he can pull off an upset definitely. He's done it before, and he he, he can do it tonight. So I'm obviously going to go with Tommy. Mm-hmm. He's uh, he's my gym mate, but um, it's a tough fight for him. He knows that, but he's done everything he can to make sure he's 100% ready for tonight. It's living the dream out there, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm loving seeing him, how, how just how happy he is. And, and when you think back to that Derry loss, Derry Matthews loss, and yeah. until now, and that, it's just... I think Sean McGoldrick, my interview with him, he basically summed up, he said, nobody's, he's got mad determination. Yeah, he is. He, he's, he's, he's hungry and, and he's... Yeah, he, 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 he's motivated motivated by success but also by building a, in a legacy he, he's a great character he's done amazing things for all and he's a really really likeable lad and, and you just want him to do well 
and I really hope he goes and does it tonight and like you said he's, he's over there you can just see by looking at him he's, he's living the dream and I'm made up seeing him so happy I'm gutted he hasn't skegged Anthony Joshua yet though no, I was on about doing that one there's only him daft enough to do that Joshua will give him that left hook and that'll be good night Tommy yeah. uh, well I hope you're right with your prediction as I say this will probably go out after Tommy's fight yeah. but fingers crossed you're right with Martin but yeah. again thanks for this fight awesome, it's an absolute yeah. pleasure nice seeing you again to you. thank Cheers. you very much nice one mate Cheers. Hill sponsors IFL TV. I'm the man to beat Daniel Dubois. You're going to sleep.